I'm James. And I'm Paul. And here's Chompers. Chompers. And well, here's another installment of uh, some RV adventures uh, of ours. And we uh, we are at a place in San Diego, believe it or not. And when you think of San Diego, you probably think of lifeguards, beaches, warm summer days. Uh, but we're in Indian, inland San Diego in the desert next to Anza Borrego State Park. Anza Borrego State Park, which is the largest state park in California. But this is a San Diego County campground. It's called Agua Caliente, which literally means hot water. And it is in this beautiful, beautiful inland desert valley uh, in, San, in San Diego County, just near the park. And the reason it's called Agua Caliente is because they have hot springs here, natural hot springs that keep a constant temperature. I think it's about 90 degrees. They have three um, pools. One is an outdoor pool that's constantly being refreshed with uh, the water and then there's um, two other pools I think they exchange the water once a week one is actually heated probably and about 96 98 and it's more like a spa and it's an indoor pool and, that's and we, we went and enjoyed that very nice the campground is great it's <clears throat> it's really located in this remote valley like I said they have full hookups so you have water power sewer at every site uh, every RV site every which RV is site. great we've been here for a couple of days don't worry about water use anything like that they have public shower houses. They have a big tenting area. They also have these really lovely cabins. Yes, the cabins are great. Um, they have shuffleboard and um, what is that thing? Oh, uh, horseshoes, horseshoes, which is really cool. A couple of caravan big day use areas for people who come, I think, and hike and, and you know, hang out with their friends and have lunch. Pro Barbecue areas. Very nice park. Really. Yeah, for a um, for a county park it's pretty much amazing the facilities and what it has to offer and for being so remote mm -hmm. what it has to offer of course the only thing it does not have to offer oh yes cell phone coverage you are disconnected here you are completely disconnected we got on our bikes or um, even drove down the road and it's about two three miles before you get any cell coverage um so if you want to get away this is great but if you need to be connected probably not the best park for you yeah, but Really nice. Uh, we're a little bit off season here, so it's quiet. I can imagine when it's full, it's kind of busy, but um, beautiful views. Uh, it's laid out well. There's terraced um, uh, spots, so you've got some views no matter what. It's it's a lovely it's a place cool to park. check out. Yeah. All right, James. What do you think for oh. for a <clears throat> for a county slash state slash national park? Maybe yeah. put it in that category. Yeah. How would you rate this? This is an eight. This yeah, I would say, I would probably say 8.59. I mean, the fact that you have full hookups in the middle of this remote campsite, so you feel like you've gotten away from it all and you still have all the conveniences of home is great. And our friends that are here in a class A, a 40 foot class A. Yeah, they made it in fun. No problem. They got in, got a great site. Uh, so really it's open to a lot. If you are in San Diego County or nearby or in the Southern California area, check it out. It's really not a well-known RV camping spot, but definitely worth your time and effort to find it. And if you're not camping, you can just come for day use or get one of the cabins. Yeah. Oh, the cabins are great, too. They're very cool. Anyway, thank you for watching until our next adventures. Time. Until, our next, until next time. Travel safely. And we will see you soon. Bye now.